Oh, yes, it's me, the king of Blog TV, David Bronstein, with another chapter in my nutty world. Now, uh, today I just went to uh, get hot dog rolls. I just came back from the supermarket. I went to buy hot dog rolls, baked beans, a chocolate syrup, and hot chocolate. I'm very, very busy. I'm a big entrepreneur. I have to go to the supermarket to get hot dog rolls. Now, you may want to ask, why did I have to get hot dog rolls? Why did my wife go get hot dog rolls? Not that I'm a, a male chauvinist. The wife cooks and cleans and the, the guy goes to work. Believe me, I wish my wife would go to work for two minutes and I could relax for two minutes. But my wife has a new job now. You know, she's a... Uh, a, um, a a consultant, a employment consultant, whatever. Andy, what is that? What is it you call that you do? Oh, now she's mad at me. Anyway, she's a consultant. She 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 gets placement. She places people for a job. I wish she'd place herself for a job. Here's what I'm trying to say. All day she's on the phone, emailing, calling, emailing, calling. She has to call, 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 email, email, email. Because the place she's working at, they have no room for this. Listen, we have no room for you, but we want to hire you. You got to work for us right away. Work from your home till we make a place for you in the place we're going to work. So all day she's calling, calling, emailing, emailing, calling, calling, hollering. The dog's barking. It can't work. The TV's on. The house is screaming. I can't get anything done here. She's hollering at me. You know how many placements she made? Anyway, so uh, so she's very busy calling, emailing, uh, she has no time to get hot dog rolls, I have to go get hot dog rolls. So I went to get hot dog rolls and chocolate syrup, because my kid needed chocolate syrup. You know, my little boy Jared is very, very important to get chocolate syrup. Him and all his little jappy boyfriend at school. Uh, I told him, you keep eating all this junk, you want these crawlers with this powder sugar oil. I said, did you read what's in this powder sugar here? But he feels he's invincible. He, he's invincible. He's so invincible, him and his friends would take out their boyfriend out for their birthday. My kid has to pick up the whole tab. Did you ever hear that before in your life? All my kid's friends who are wealthier than Donald Trump, my kid has to pick up the whole tab. They make arrangements. They said, listen, it's your birthday, five kids, five of I want to take you out for your birthday. And he goes, oh, that's so nice of you. He says, we're all going to take you out for your birthday. So they all take him to the hoagie shop. And when it comes time to pay for the hoagie, one kid says, I don't have any money. I forgot my money. I don't know what money is. Who, who, who said anything about money? Who said, I'm going to pay for anybody? My kid picks up the whole tab. Hey, Jack, anyone give you the money back yet? No, there you go. His friends live in 5,000 square foot homes. They drive Rolls Royces, Mercedes, BMWs. You want to help me out here, please? Why does my kid have to pick up that? It's very nice. A good friend to his friend. But why do little rich kids can't pick up the tab? They own two dollars each. Two stinking dollars. That's how they live in 5,000 square foot homes. They're obviously Jewish. Anyway, um, so I go to the supermarket and I, and I get chocolate syrup and, and hot dog rolls and baked beans. And um, I want to tell you a funny story about baked beans in a minute. But... And, I, and I'm, I go to the counter, you know, the other day I was at the supermarket, the line was so long, it was all the way out the door, across the, the street, that down the block, I, I couldn't stand there anymore. So today there was, a, there was a, a cashier empty, there was nobody there. So as I'm walking to the cashier holding, uh, holding so many things, like I'm holding papers like this, and I, I'm holding all the, can you see like this, and I'm holding stuff like this here, and, I'm, uh, and I got things piled up here like this, I'm, Jesus Christ, like this. Some lady comes the same time as I get to the cashier, where there's nobody there with her cart. So it's me and her at the same time at the cashier, and like a schmuck, I say, oh, go right ahead. And what does the lady do? She says, oh, thank you, it goes right in front of me. Now the lady has a cart! She has a cart, I'm standing here like this, I, I'm juggling fit, fit, chocolate milk and, and, and chocolate syrup and hot dog rolls and baked beans. I got it on my foot, on my head, on my tongue, I'm like a guy, I'm like a juggler on the Ed Sullivan Show. And I'm holding all these things, and she goes right with the cart! And one at a time, she's putting one thing at a time like this, and she's putting one thing like that. And she's putting one thing like this. One at a time. Oh, and I'm saying, nah, I, I can't, I can't hold anymore what I'm holding there. And when she put it on the, 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 um, the counter, whatever it is that that moves, she doesn't put the divider in between her food and the lady's food that's in front of her. So what happens? The cashier is, is punching, 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 and she starts punching at the lady who just went in front of me and put all her food there with the lady who just was checking out. So the lady was just checking out. Says, wait a minute. That's not mine. What happens now? The whole system shuts down. The whole the whole supermarket. She has to get on the phone. I need an override, an override, an override. She can't take any more orders. Now I'm saying I gotta put my food down and I'm holding this like this and the and the things like this here and I got everything like that here. And I and I, I gotta buy I can't even put it down because the lady's there with the car with all her stuff and now the, the cashier has to do an override, override, override. Nothing's happening now. They all shut down the whole system. The whole company went bankrupt. So now I, I, I can't I can't stand there anymore. So I say, I'm going to go to the next aisle. Well, I go to the next aisle, and the guy in front of me is touching his nose, touching his hair, touching his eye, touching his suckers. Now, do you think I'm going to put my food down on the same counter that this guy is putting his food down? Meanwhile, he has two cartons of chocolate milk on top of ground beef. Now, do you know what that means? Two half gallons of chocolate milk. I'm Jewish. 
Putting meat and milk is not kosher. Now, I'm not kosher outside the house, but I'm kosher inside the house. Kosher inside the house means when you bring in Chinese food, you don't pay for plates. That's what kosher inside the house means. But standing in back of this guy who's touching his hair, his nose, his feet, I couldn't take it anymore. So I put the things and I rushed out of the store. Now, you know how I am like like uh, Howard Hughes. You know, the only difference between Howard Hughes and me is I have more money. But I can't stand with the touch of their eyes, their hand. My wife went to take my kid a croissant today at the bakery. Every morning I have a croissant. She called me on the phone and said, you won't believe us what happened. The lady... Sneeze in her hand, sneeze on the rye bread, sneeze on the pumpernickel, you, you know, shit in the floor. You know, pumpernickel, prices are going up so high, pumpernickel is now pumperdine. But so my wife ran out of the bakery to another bakery to get me a bagel. And I wanted to show you the bagel. I had green stuff on the bagel. In fact, I'll do that blog tomorrow. I wanted to show you the bagel. I had a bagel with green stuff on it. I said to my wife, what is this green stuff? She said, it's lettuce. I said, it's not lettuce. There's something green on her. She said, well, maybe it's icing. Now, now, did she see? Why would uh, icing be on a bagel? I don't, why, out of all the bagels, the hundreds of bagels the, the bakery makes, why do I have to get the one with icing? I bet the other bagels don't have any icing on it. And lots are supposed to be orange. Meanwhile, I'm taking brown stuff out of the bag. Why, why can't I get the right colors when I eat the food? Uh, lots is orange, bagels are brown. Why do I have to get green and brown? Brown lots, green bagels. Why do I have to get this? Today, Alex doesn't touch one. She's like, we're for two bucks. She's like, Brandon, pay you. He's being a bitch. So we started laughing about it. And I thought, you know what, whatever. They're my close friends. I might as well. This, it's only two bucks. Then I realized, well, it's six dollars in total. So I'll get two bucks from Luke. Brandon and Gross, the parents have been very good to me. Don't see it on the camera. So, you, yes, go ahead. I'm going to their house. And it's me, Brandon, Grossman, and Dina. And they're like, yeah, do you want like Lux and cream cheese? I'm thinking in my head, let me in Lux? And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll have some Lux. Yeah, Brandon, you want any Lux? And I'm thinking, what the hell are they talking about? It's called Lux. I don't know why they call it that. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what my kid's talking about. But anyway, he's talking about locks. And you know why they can't keep Jews in jail? Because we eat locks. Anyway, um, so I was at the bakery, and I had a little cookie. And the cookie tasted delicious. So I went to the baker. I said, you know, these, these cookies taste delicious. I love to see how you make these cookies. So the baker, I saw rolling out dough and taking out his teeth and cutting cookie shapes with his teeth. So I said, what are you doing that for? Why don't you use a tool? He said, I use that for the bagels. But here's the joke. Here's the joke about I went to get my wife some... Um, Perfume. I went to have some perfume for her birthday. And they had so many different smells and fragrances, I couldn't figure out what the hell it is. So I picked up a bottle, I gave it a spritz, I said, oh, this smells very nice. I went to the clerk, I said, what this smell is this? And she said, Chanel number five, uh, $42 an ounce. And when she told me that, $42 an ounce, I, I, I left a little wind. <laughs> if you know what I mean, I had some gas, and I got so nervous, I left a little wind. And the clerk started sniffing. She said, what's that smell? I said, baked beans, 29 cents a can. All right, that's my blog for today. Tune in tomorrow for another chapter in David Bronte's Honey World. Goodbye. How do I say goodbye, Lauren or Jared? Bye. <laughs> he says, I have my kids and I say goodbye real mean. Goodbye. You're right, I do say goodbye like that. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Goodbye. <laughs>